When your child gets sick at school, usually they'll go to the school nurse. A Bay Area mom called Aid on Your Side claiming the nurse she relied on to give her son the medication he needs was suddenly gone. We sent Aid on Your Side Shannon Binkin to find out why. It's very scary. It's very scary. Penny Perez wants her 11-year-old son, Keith, in traditional school. With a rare condition called Williams syndrome, Keith is developmentally delayed, and if his blood pressure is too high for too long, it can be deadly. It can spike at any time. But despite all of that, Keith has soared at Shore Acres Elementary. Perez credits the school's nurse with monitoring his blood pressure and making sure he gets his medication. But on the second day of school, that changed. Perez was told the nurse is gone and the front desk staff is now trained to care for Keith. I was shocked. I was shocked. And, and frankly, they looked scared to death. And, and I was scared to death. Her complaints went nowhere. They said it's just not going to happen. He doesn't require a nurse. So Perez took matters into her own hands. She found a loophole. She found out that state law requires certain medical treatments be conducted by trained medical professionals. So Perez reconnected Keith's feeding tube. But as soon as that feeding tube is gone, so is the nurse. So where are the nurses? Is it appropriate for front desk staff to be giving medication to students? Under state law, support staff can be trained to provide certain basic health services. Melanie Marquez Para explains the district doesn't have the money to have nurses at every school. There are 74 medical professionals working in Pinellas schools, but they are rotated depending on the medical needs. If the health needs of a student um, changes, then the way that the health services are provided may change. The front desk staff, Para insists, is perfectly capable of checking blood pressure and giving medication. But now that Keith's medical needs have changed, there is a medical professional at his school five days a week. But Gail, I checked around and other Bay Area counties all have medical staff on staff full time all the time. So if you live in Pinellas County, you're not comfortable without your school having a full time nurse on duty. What can you do? Well, you can request for your child to be moved to a different school, but all of those requests are evaluated on a case-by-case -case basis, so there's no guarantee, but they will take a look at it. All right, Shannon, thank you.